Hello and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 7 of Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. In the previous episode, we kind of just investigated Luca a little bit more. I think we've kind of covered it now. I'll have to find out. Um, in the comments in yesterday's episode, I was told that I need to investigate this shop a little bit more. So I am going to do just that. And also, I need to head to the marshes. So I presume I can go onto the map and see the marshes. So I'm just going to... I mean, I can look at that Twiddle file retrieval system. Let's, let's do that for a start. Okay. So there's a bunny rabbit, a tree, pumpkin, monkey, bananas, and a rabbit again. Okay. Um, escape? Ah, forget it. Okay. Talk to Dead Eye Dave again. Maybe I've Dave? missed something. Yes. Um, well, are you sensitive? Not to be insensitive, but are you blind? Do I look blind? I don't know. The twin eye patches could be some sort of hip new pirate fashion statement. Of course I'm blind, <laughs> the lilac scented party waste! Sorry. <laughs> Don't give it a second thought. My other senses more than compensate for my lack of sight. For example, I usually can identify my customers by their distinctive individual odors. Ooh, excellent. Immediately I'm thinking, um, that spritzer bottle I've got. You can recognize people by their smell? Usually no problem. Today, though, my nose is stuffed up because I got a, a bit of a cold. Oh, so okay. I can only recognize amplified odors, like the lilac aftershave you've generously applied to your face. Fortunately, my hearing's still sharper than a barge full of bunnies. Okay, so... So how sharp is your hearing anyway, Baldy? Sharp <laughs> enough, Pinky. Baldy. Um... I'm looking for some gifts for my differently abled pirate I'm friends. I'm looking for some gifts for my differently abled pirate friends. Then you've come to the right place. What kinds of prostheses did you have in mind? A nose. A nose, a nose, a nose. Frankly, I'm in the market for a prosthetic nose. Sorry, we're fresh out. It's shocking how oh, quickly my regular episode, customers blow through those things. I think. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. What have you got that's free? Yes. What have you got that's free? Free? <laughs> oh, what God. do you think I'm running? A charity? What can I say? I'm broke. <sighs> okay, you've appealed to my sense of generosity. Here's what I'll do. I'll let you have one of my untested, unguaranteed, unapproved experimental prosthetic devices. Neat. What kind of prosthetic devices are we talking about? I'll let you choose through a story. Huh? Humor me. Once upon a time, there was a pirate named... Um, Harry? No, Larry. Larry? Larry. Larry wanted to win the hand of a fair maiden named... Mindy? Mindy? Mindy. Sadly, Mindy's finger was already wearing the engagement ring of a bounder named... Fred. Fred? Yeah, Fred. <laughs> well? Well, what? What happened? After many years of plotting, she became head of all the families and had them both whacked. The end. What a dreadful story. I know. Here's your free experimental prosthesis. What is it? That's a prototype for my own Dead-Eye Deluxe prosthetic head. It's for pirates who've lost so many ears, eyes and noses that they prefer to start all over with a brand new head. How do you plan on duplicating the intricate thought process of the pirate brain? I plan on fixing that in my first patch release. <laughs> so we have a head. Lovely. Have you heard from the final monkey? Right. I think we might have to... See you later. That makes one of us. Have we got anything in our inventory that can smell? I mean, a handkerchief. Let's give him the handkerchief. Blow his nose. Hey, does the smell in this hanky remind you of anything or anybody? Oh, no. Let me see. <laughs> nope. I don't really smell much uh, of anything in it. What do you mean? I thought blind people's... Hey, 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 hey. Visually challenged. Sorry. I thought visually challenged people's other senses become enhanced to offset the lack of vision. I mean, I have a fully functioning set of eyes, and even I can smell the foul odor coming off this hanky. Well, that only applies when my nose is clear. Oh, I've kind of got a little bit of a cold and stuffed nose, so I can't smell much right now. If you really need to make use of my amazing odor-divining abilities, you're going to have to find a way to give me an amplified version of this smell. Like how? Just follow your nose. Okay, so can we smell it? Use hank Let's use handkerchief. It smells somewhat like hickory smoked fish. Hickory smoked fish. We have, don't we have a fish, a dead fish? We have baits, don't we? It smells sort of like flowers growing in a cesspool. We don't have flowers, I don't think. 
it smells a little like fish snot. We do have fish again. It smells a tiny bit like a corpse floating in a bog. Tell you what, it gives me an idea. Let me just put that away. So what do we have here? <laughs> That's a funny face. <laughs> wood shavings, look at... It's a cedar-smelling pile of wood shavings. Yeah, so... Can we? It's a little dead fish used for fishing bait. Can we use the fish with the spritzer? Nothing like the smell of rotting oh, we bait can. to woo Excellent. the ladies. So maybe we use the wood with the spritzer. There. That should make the concoction smell interesting. Anything else? The d chicken grease? I don't think that would help anything. No. I mean, he says... Ah. What did he say? Let me just have another look at the... This here. This hanky has PP embroidered on it. I highly doubt that this belonged to Grandpa Marley. All right, so if we look at it again. It smells kind of like a lumberjack wiped his armpits with it. Okay, lumberjack wiped his armpits. Again, that kind of wood, I guess. It has the faintest whiff of something nice, though. It smells somewhat like hickory smoked fish. Right, okay, so I think there's like several different ingredients we haven't got that we need to go and get. But like I said, we haven't even investigated the entire island yet. Put that away now. Is there anything else in here that we need? Miscellaneous metal hooks. I haven't seen so many pointy things in one place since my last dental checkup. Bottom, what's that say? But, basket of rubber bottomed ivory peg legs. What a great idea. Pity about the elephants though. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit harsh. Basket of prostheses. It's a basket of finely crafted prosthetic limbs. What do we need? Leg or a hand? It's a false leg made of <laughs> porcelain. <laughs> it's a wooden hand. Let's get the hand. I heard that. I hope you're planning to pay for that hand. It ain't cheap. Okay. Actually, I don't have a dime. Well, then you'd best be putting it back then, eh, tiger? Sorry. So we haven't got anything. I think we're going to go and investigate the rest of the island. I've got a feeling there's got to be a map that takes you to one, a marsh. And two, maybe a jungle. And then where else? Did we go up here last time? I cannot remember. So I'm going to go up here. And I'm on top of the world. Yeah, that's there's nothing there. Come on then, Guybrush. Let's go this way. Let's talk to this fella. Did we talk to this guy last time? I don't remember. <laughs> hey there, money bags. Very funny, Mr. Threepwood. Are you enjoying the money you stole? I didn't steal it. Hey, I'm innocent. Yes, right. And I'm a 20 carat brooch. Right. It was a no-nosed man. It was it the no-nosed man. Oh, I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. Of course, I used to. Until you <laughs> came along, that is. Have you seen someone go by here carrying a bag of loot? What does he look like? Sort of like me. Yes, I've seen him. But he didn't have a bag with him. Really? Where? I'm looking at him! I'm looking at him. When are you going to reopen the bank? Inspector Canard won't let me inside. So even if I could afford to reopen it, I'm not allowed. Um, let's break in. Yes. Let's break in. Unlike you, I respect authority and law. No one will enter the bank until the crime is solved. Okay, so I guess Let's we can't talk really about go else. in. Um, right. I hear my parole officer calling. See you later. See you later. Right, I'm just going to go over here, see if I can pick up that manhole cover. No, I can't click on it. Oh, I can click on it. Um, pick up. I'm not picking that up. Use. Maybe I can get into the bank under the, in the sewers. Ah, it's just too heavy for me to pull open on my own. Okay. Do I have anything that can open it? Oh, I have a sword. That could be used as like a, a winch or something, isn't it? Use broken sword with manhole. I mean, is that a little nod to that revolution classic? I kind of feel like it is. Hey, it works. Oh, crud. I dropped the sword into the sewers. Oh, well. Now it's a broken and very stinky sword. Use. Wow. What a very deep... Dark hole, not to mention smelly. Phew. On second thought, I don't think I want to go down there for any reason. Ah, oh, no. Or well, do we need the actual manhole cover then? There's something scratched into the bottom of this. It says, Wendy loves Jed. But scratched out right next to that, it says, Larry loves Wendy. What a weird place to profess your love for someone. It's not like the story that we've just had from the, the blind guy. Can I pick it up? <laughs> Put it in my pants. 
There we go. Larry loves Jed. Was that... I think it was. I'm going to go back here and do that story again. Let me just have a look at it. There it is. Look. There's something scratched into the bottom of this. It says, Wendy loves Jed. Wendy loves Jed. Scratched out right next to that, it says, Larry loves Wendy. What a weird place to profess your love for someone. Wendy loves Jed. Larry loves Wendy. Right. I'm going to forget that. Wendy loves Jed. Larry loves Wendy. Oh, can I look on this side? Let's see. Rubber knuckles, artificial appendages, faux follicles. Nope. Nothing I want here. Talk to Dead Eye Dave. Dave? Yes. Right. Um... And I still need to find some St. Swithin's Day gifts for my friends. What kinds of gifts did you have in mind? Oh, okay. I don't think this is... I'll have a little freeze plus this is. Yes. I'd like to have another one of those free prostheses. Can't get enough of experimental technology, eh? Okay. Once upon a time, there was a pirate named... Wendy loves Jed. Jed? Jerry, I guess? Jerry? Jerry. Jerry had his eye on a pirate princess named... Wendy. Wendy? Wendy. Tragically, Wendy had already pledged her heart to a jerk named... La Larry. Oh no, I messed it up. I messed it up. Fred? Yeah, Fred. Well? Well, what? What happened? Eventually, she followed her heart and married a quantum physicist from Azusa. Who wants to marry a pirate anyway? The end. What a dreadful story. That story's worse than the last one. I know. Here's your free experimental prosthesis. Okay, okay, what is it? Thing. That's a top-of-the-line Pump Master Omega brand artificial heart. They were all the rage a couple of years back, before the screws started rusting. Why is he giving me stuff anyway? Um, I'm going to try it again. Cause maybe he's just giving me stuff I don't need. Or is this a specific thing? And I still need to find some St. Swithin's Day gifts for my friends. What kinds Ooh, of gifts did you have in mind? Free one. I'd like to have so another Larry, one of those free prostheses. Wendy, Can't get enough of experimental right. technology, eh? Okay. Once upon a time, yes. there was a pirate named... Larry. Larry? Larry. Larry wanted to win the hand of a fair maiden named... Wendy. Wendy? Wendy. Tragically, Wendy had already pledged her heart to a jerk named... Jed. Jed? That's right. Jed. Well? Well, what? What happened? Realising that beauty was only skin deep, she married the ugliest man in town. The end. What a dreadful story. You really should leave the storytelling to the professionals. I know. Here's your free experimental prosthesis. Oh, what Jesus. is it? This is something special. It's a sample of my newly created, ultra-stretchy, one-size-fits-all prosthetic skin. <laughs> With just a few square feet of this miracle substance, a pirate can replace all the skin he's lost during a lifetime of sword fighting, knife fighting, keel hauling, and the occasional flogging. And it comes complete with a set of tiny hooks for easy attachment. I repeat. Yeah. That is grim. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> that makes one of us. I think because he said something different at the end there, didn't he? He's like, this is something special. So we need that prosthetic skin. I mean, that's gross. It looks pretty lifelike, but it feels too stretchy to be real. Stretchy. We need to have something stretchy. Maybe it could be a sail or something. Anyway, I'm going to try and find an exit to this darn town and see if I can find that marsh. Alright, let's follow this road. Leave Luca. Oh, there we go. Let's go to the mast. The, ma the mast? The marsh. Ooh, look at puddle. It's a stinky puddle of swamp water. Really? Can I pick it up? I'm not picking that up. Do you think I can use the, um... Because he said stinky, and immediately I'm thinking that. Can I use that? Fill that with water? Aha! Bingo! I've always wanted swamp-scented perfume. I, mean, I don't really know what else I can, I can use. Let's find out. Look at raft. Use raft. I think this is probably going to be one of those puzzles where I'm going around aimlessly, not really knowing where I'm going. Because I haven't got a map. 
Let's go straight on. And it'll probably turn end up in the same place that I started. Taking his time to go though, isn't he? Got time? Yeah, I haven't got time. Maybe that's what I need that clock for, the chest clock. I can't go forwards there, so let's go right. Oh, it's a gate. Open gate. It's locked. Uh, I guess I don't have a key, do I? No, none of that's going to do. Here's a duck. Duck with gate. No. Put the duck away. Um, I can't go through the gate. I need a key. I don't think I'm making any progress here. Oh, damn it. Yeah, that's the start, isn't it? I'm not even going to attempt to go and try and look all over the place because... Yeah, he's not making any progress. I need a map of some sort. But I filled, I filled that thing up with water. Can I... Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll go to this big mansion, I guess. Kind of looks like an observatory, maybe. Foreboding mansion. Oh, it is foreboding, isn't it? What I'm going to do is use this use this spritzer. See if it says it smells of anything. This almost smells like that hanky. Almost. Except the hanky smells more pleasant. Ah, oh, we need something pleasant then. Let's have a look at this fountain. Oh, a flower. Oh, a flower. Maybe we can use that in the... Uh, use that with... No. no. That's not what I meant, Garbrush. Sorry, dude. Use that with the flower. There. That should make my concoction smell better. Awesome. So now if I spray it, does he say that it smells like anything? I don't want to use it with a scary fountain. I just want to use it. Hey, this smells exactly like that hanky. Only stronger. That's awesome. Right. So I guess we go back and sp spray it in Pete's face. Not Pete. What's his name? Dave. Right, let's put that away. Put away. Use. That fountain gives me the heebie-jeebies. Creepy mansion. I've got a feeling this is that Australian Hi. guy. Yes, it is. Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? I'm Guybrush Street Pub, Mighty Pirate, Zillionaire, Monkey Wrangler, and Love Machine of Mail Island. Guybrush Street Pub. Monkey Wrangler. You can't fool me, Mr. Threepwood. It's common knowledge that there aren't any monkeys in the Caribbean. I think you're a scungy pirate. My name is Ozzy. Ozzy Mandrill. That name sounds familiar. Aren't you the forgotten member of a famous country western singing clan? Over the top heavy metal performer. Master of the pan flute. Pan flute. You're the master of the pan flute, right? Don't play the gink with me, Threepwood. Who's playing? Well then, allow me to illuminate the dingy corners of your mind. Ozzy Mandrill is a businessman, a capitalist, a real estate developer. I'm also the future king of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're the guy who's trying to buy out the scum bar. The scum bar? That's just the tip of the aardvark. I'm going to buy the whole Caribbean. The whole Caribbean. Or as those English people say, Caribbean. Why are you buying up all the land in the Caribbean? Because I'm a man with a vision. You too? What are yours like? <laughs> oh, I see a Caribbean freed from the chaotic plundering of grog-swilling pirates. A Caribbean made safe for the orderly consumerism of family-oriented themed restaurants and resorts. A Caribbean scrub clean of filth. A Caribbean you'd be proud to take home to your mother. Gee. Mine are mostly about ice cream. Yeah, he said Caribbean, and then in that little monologue, he said Caribbean. Just a little thing I've noted. How do all my pirate friends fit into your capitalist utopia? Yeah. And how do all my pirate friends fit into your capitalist utopia? Ah, oh, they'll be retrained. 
retrained? Yes, the service-based economies of tomorrow's Caribbean will need legions of waiters, janitors, maids and dishwashers. <laughs> Right. And how do the dozens of pirate support industries fit into your scheme? They'll be torn down, of course. No more will these islands be cursed with a blight of run-down watering holes, murky voodoo shops, and disease-ridden houses of ill repute. Instead, our streets will be decorated with classy art houses, whimsical theme restaurants, and upscale knick-knack shops. Knick-knack shops. But what about the children? Uh. What about them? I don't know. Just thought I'd ask. Um, yeah. But what about pirates who don't want to be waiters, janitors, and dishwashers? What makes you think they'll have a choice? <laughs> <laughs> um, alright. I'm tired of discussing your warped dreams. And I'm tired of discussing them. So, I want to... Yeah, pretty good with an insult. My navigator tells me that you're pretty good with an insult. Pretty good? Listen, Kitty Wink, I'll have you know that my insults have finished off over 500 hostile takeovers. There isn't a man alive or dead who can withstand the might of my withering barbs. I bet I can beat you. Oh, uh, really? And what stakes do you propose? Um, if I win, you have to tell me all your evil secret plans. Yes. <laughs> Let's do that one. If I win, you have to tell me all your secret evil plans. Fine. And if I win, you have to leave my house. Agreed. So, what form of insult game shall we play? Let's stick to the basics, shall we? Are we going to insult sword fight? Uh, presumably, I'm not going to win. On guard. Touché! Oh, that is so cliché. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. I've got a little tip for you. Get the point. You wouldn't know Christmas from Burke Street. What? I have no idea what you just said, yet I feel strangely insulted. <laughs> You're not worth a zap. Yeah, he's just going to throw a lot of Australianisms at me, isn't he? I'm what, what, a what, what? I've seen better from a bludger. <laughs> Can't argue with that. I'm sure that was a stinging insult, but I don't know why. Ha <laughs> ha! I lost. Naturally. Now get out of my house. Okay, so we have to go and, um... Yeah, we have to go and find that ultimate insult, wasn't it? That was in the safety deposit box. Let's go and see what's in this house here. Into guest house. Turn around, guy brush. Thank you very much. It's locked. Locked. What about scary looking fountain? That fountain gives me the heebie jeebies. Um, can we go just in the grounds? Scary looking bird. Does that say scary looking bird? Oh, it's at the front of the house. That watchbird gives me the heebie jeebies. Right, okay. What I think I'm going to do is go back to um, the Palace of Prostheses and spray that concoction into his face. And hopefully he'll, um, oh, I don't know, tell us that he's smelt it before and lead us in the direction of Pegnose Peat. But we're going to do all of that in the next episode. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. really appreciate it. And until next time, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing right now. And take care.